Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for, so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a few minutes as I do a Timu um, unbagging of diamond paintings. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, if you are returning, uh, welcome back. So greatly appreciate you returning. If you are brand new, welcome too. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you um, can give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. So thank you all. This is gonna be some fun stuff. So I got a, a Timu order that um, was combined into, a couple orders were combined into one. So let me just pull out all the diamond paintings and we'll probably have a couple different Timu orders that are gonna be coming up. Okay, so let me just push this all over to the side. And we're gonna start off with just a little, a little small one. This is just a little 20 by 20. And I haven't gotten a tiny painting in a long, long time, but I thought that this one was just really cute. I, and I think he's gonna turn out absolutely adorable. Let me bring you in just a little bit since he is so small. But isn't he cute? He's just a little teeny 20 by 20. So he's really gonna only measure 15 by 15. So this could probably almost be done in a, you know, in an evening or a day. Um, this will be fun to do in between some of the big paintings. You know that I do sometimes I just need a break from the big paintings so he is super clear and I think is going to turn out absolutely beautiful uh, he has uh, 13 colors the legend is all in letters I'll show you that show you the drill filled and here are the colors which are very pretty and sorry a little bit for the glare really got an overcast day today it's a lot better when the sun is coming in through this window but he's very cute and he comes with a standard toolkit a boat a plate of wax and a uh, pen so i won't go through all the toolkits um, unless there's something different okay so the the next thing I want to show you is, um, it's actually a collection of paintings. And I'll show you why I got them. So I've got a collection that I want to show you. So this picture here was the second completion that I ever did. This was a Mother's Day present from my son. And it is... I mean, it just, it's just a soft spot in my heart. I mean, he gave it to me because he knew that I love diamond painting. So I love it. So it's actually a collection of four seasons on these trees. So I wanted to show you this is where it started from. And let me show you the next, the next ones. I think this is spring. I'm not certain. You'll have to tell me what you guys think once I get all of them out. And it literally only took me an evening to do. These are super ha super fast because they are a partial. Yeah, I think I think with the green, I think that's spring, but I'm not positive. No, but I'm changing up my light again. I tell you, one of these days I might actually get my lighting fixed. I always apologize to you guys, and you're always so gracious. So here's the tree, and this has got 11 different shapes. I'm going to try to straighten this out a little bit. So I want to try to get this collection done and then hang them all in my craft room for him that he helped start me in my journey of diamond painting. And this is just a partial. So if you guys are new 
partial just means that there's only parts of the area that are sticky out here is not so you don't do anything on the background at all and it's a combination of special shape drills and rhinestones and I'll just show you just real quick so there is some purple special shapes This one is a white AB. And we got crystals, green, and a green AB. It's black. Here's a special shape brown, special shape red. And this one is a big clear red. Um, this one is a marquee and another marquee. And one more marquee. I always like to show the drills for the special canvases. You just stick this back in the bag so I don't mix them all up. So I'm excited to do this. I think I might just take a, you know, one of my days off and just do all three and get them all done. And this one, I am pretty sure, is winter. Yeah, you can see that that's, that's winter with the blue colors. And it's always really hard to get this cover sheet down on these partials because it doesn't have much to stick on. I am definitely going to need to iron these guys. Um, just from being folded up. The canvas is super sparkly, which I think is good. So again, that one's really pretty. And I'll show you the drills on this one real fast. I mean, I don't do a ton of special drills and partials. Um, but sometimes they're fun to do in between stuff. They're just different than, you know, the, your ordinary full drills. It's fun to see the different shapes and the sparkly colors. Okay, so there's some white and some blue, black, another round, uh, clear one. This is a little teeny tiny I don't know if those are called, um, I think it's a teardrop, but man, that's really teeny tiny. And that one's a marquee. And another marquee. Oh, and there's my favorite pink. Oh, I love the blue. Look at all the blue. Oops, lots of blue. So that one's really pretty. So let me get put this back in so I don't get them mixed up. Okay. And then this last one, again, I am not, I am not certain of what this is. I mean, I know the last one was winter and I think the green is spring or would this one be spring in the pink? I don't know. Maybe pink spring? I don't know. Help me with that because then there's this one. I don't know. I like them all. So I guess it doesn't matter if I don't know exactly what they are. I still like them. straighten this out a little bit again. So these just uh, these just make my heart melt. Just because my son gave me that, that first one to start the collection. Alrighty, so this one, this one has 12 special shapes. 
And let me just open this up. Sorry for the crinkles. If you don't like the crinkles, you can just either mute or um, fast forward. I don't know. I I like the crinkle sound. I don't know if I'm in the majority or minority or what. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I know it does bother some people. So let me show you the colors that we have. We got pretty red, purple, black, it's a reddish pink, lots of clear, a teeny clear marquee, and a super tiny teardrop. Oh, and a little teeny tiny shard there, purple teardrop in red. These are all really small. So let me just go ahead and put these away real quick. Oh, I think these two I didn't show you. They were separate. So there's that. to the side all right so here we go what is next this one I thought was really pretty I, I did I think I've done um, some that are similar to this this is a stained glass but it has the the square background colors. It has the border. I think I've done similar to this with the white background, but I really like this one. I think I really like this one better. Again, we're back to my lots of color. So this is a 30 by 30. There, now it's laying down flatter. That's good. And is that a lotus? I'm bad with my flowers. This will be another quick one to do. Just bring that up to you like that. I think it's really pretty and I will show you the colors got some blue and that is a um, darky purpley color more blue pink lots of color in this and when I turn this around you'll see it there's pink and there's purple and black and blue and more pink and yellow and red um, that's kind of a little darker yellow. So those are really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, oh, I didn't tell you. This one has got 24 colors. And here is the legend. And you can see that a 1 is a 1, 2 is a 2, a 3 is a 3, which is good. Um, that is what the drill filled is going to look like, which is clear. I'm just hoping that all of the, that the circles are going to turn out. I may have to adjust colors. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. But there's that one. All right, let's see what I have next. I've got a few more. This one is one that has ABs has ABs to it. And I like how it's in an envelope this way, coming out horizontally instead of vertically. But this is one of the really, really soft canvases that are flocked on the back. This one has a little different can, uh, kit. This one has a white kit with a pair of tweezers, um, a couple baggies, a plate of wax. So that's a little bit different. And here is this cat with a little flower bonnet. 
Oh, and I love the eyes. Aren't the eyes pretty? This one has got 26 colors, lots of colors. And these are in all symbols. Let me show you that, all symbols. So this has got the scalloped edges, like you would see. Oh man, is that kind of stuck? There we go. That's very sticky glue. Doesn't want to let go of the cover sheet. This one really doesn't even hardly need straightening because the type of canvas is in, it just begins to lay down flat very easily. But because that cover sheet was so stuck on, I so tight, I thought I would just straighten it out a little bit. So there's that one again, really cute. Let's see if I can find the ABs in here. It said that it had ABs in it. And I can't tell by the legend. Let's see if I can just find the ABs just real, real quick in here. Let's see if I can see them. Oh, there it is. There it is. We have white AB right here. And I don't see any others. I just see the white. But I'll show you the color. Oops, let me shut this. Let me go ahead and show you the colors. There's red and white, green, purple. Um, that's kind of a... Um, it's kind of a muddy green over here. I don't know what you would call that. You get lots of greens. I do like this one. And I think, I think you're gonna be able to differentiate the kitty from the background. But we'll see once the drills get on it. So there's that one. And let me just, Pull out this one. This one is two hummingbirds. But I don't, I mean, what you're seeing in the camera is a lot clearer than what I'm seeing. And I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to see the beaks to compare, compare that. This has got 18 colors. And the legend is in all letters. Yeah, I'm not certain if I like this one, to be totally honest with you. I'm gonna have to look at the drills and the beaks of the birds and the eye to see how that could be adjusted so it actually looks like a beak. Because it's hard to do hummingbirds because they have that real thin beak. It's real hard. So there is that. And let me show you the drills. There's pinks and whites and blues and browns. And the really, really bright pink. I love that pink. There's blue and green and I love the lavender. Do you like the colors? So there's that one. And I've got one more for you. This one I thought was fun. I've been seeing creators show a lot of, oh, the VW bugs and the VW buses. I've seen a lot of the VW vehicles and and I thought that they were fun and cute, and that's why I got this one. This is just a little VW bug, and just shades of the 60s. I mean, it's a little bit before my time, but um, 
just reminds me shades of the 60s. I think it's just really cute. It's a little 30 by 30, has 24 colors, which is amazing. Letters and numbers. And the letters are great. A one's a one, two's a two. So you can see what the drill field looks like. Show you the thumbnail. I think he's super fun. Yeah, these are all smaller size paintings that I brought you in this section of it. I do have some big paintings that are coming that I will show you. So those will be coming in future videos. And I have some other companies that have big pictures too. So there is the little VW. And I don't know if the license plate is supposed to be saying something. Um, maybe I'll make it say something. I don't know. I have to think, I have to think about that. And here are the gems, the drills, the beads, whatever you want to call them. Again, lots of pinks, purples, teals, white, pink. If you look this way, lots of pinkies. Vibrant colors again. So that is all the paintings that I have for you in this haul. And I will give you a little recap. This is the little VW bug. And this is my two, um, I'm pretty sure they're hummingbirds. If you think there's something different, let me know. Maybe they're different, I don't, I, I'm just not certain, but I'm not certain if I like it. And then there is my little cat. I do like the little cat. And then I have my little stained glass flower, which I like a lot. It's very pretty. And then I've got my flowers. And again, I'll, I'll start off with the one that I've completed. And that is, that was from my son for Mother's Day. And this one, I am pretty sure, I know that this is winter because it seems to be blue and it's kind of frostier. So I know that's winter. But I don't know what this one is. And then there's the green. I would think that the green is gonna be spring, but I'm not certain. So then there's the green one. And then there's the pink one. But I do like all of them. Again, those are partials. And then I really like my, sorry, I had to reach over you there. And I really like my little owl. I think he's just really cute. And I think he's going to turn out really good. I think he's going to, again, really quick and easy to do. And so that is, that is all that I have for you today, guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me this whole time. I'm going to have more Timu coming. Um, I have got a, a big haul from DIY Digital Art that I purchased. Um, I actually am going to have some cross stitch coming. I've got some, oh my gosh, this one is amazing. I have what I think is probably the most beautiful craftably that I've ever seen. I think it's even prettier than Moonlight in the Garden. It's huge too. It will be it will be the biggest painting I have ever worked on. That's going to be coming. I've got Diamond Art Club. I have got all kinds of stuff coming for you. And then I think I think my little brain is going too fast. I think I'm maybe been hanging out with Crafty Chef Diamond too much, and I'm I'm getting like a hamster on a wheel, as she likes to say. Um, my brain has got so much in it for what I want to bring to you guys. 
I've got uh, tutorials in mind that I want to do. I want to do an ironing tutorial. Um, I want to do what I've learned in the last few months that I wish I would have known when I first started diamond painting. There's just a lot of stuff I want to bring to you, and I might do a poll with you guys in the community as to what you want me to do next. Because I tell you, I am I am so excited. I just, I love this channel. I love you guys. I love diamond painting. I have so much fun with it. It's absolutely unbelievable. You guys rock. You are absolutely amazing. Like I tell you, every video, you are perfect exactly as you are. You guys bring me great joy. Great, great joy. Um, so again, I'm, I'm kind of rambling on. I, I get a little long-winded that way. You'll have to forgive me. So this is all that I truly have for you. Happy diamond painting. You guys have a great day, evening, wherever you're at, whenever you're going to be listening to this video. Um, again, happy diamond painting, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.